Chemo harms fertility of female patients' grandkids. Time to get your eggs frozen. No, really. A new study has found chemotherapy can significantly harm the fertility of female cancer patients' grandchildren. Researchers at the University of Utah found the offspring of women who had treatment before becoming pregnant had a 70% worse chance of having a child themselves. Scientists believe the chemotherapy medication may be altering the genetic expression of inherited germline cells. Women of reproductive age being treated for cancer are increasingly being encouraged to preserve their eggs cryogenically. The study also found male cancer patients did not pass the same effect to their offspring, most likely because sperm constantly regenerates while a woman has all her eggs at birth. Here are some other promising treatments. New Hope for Cancer Patients A panel of experts advising the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has unanimously recommended the approval of a new cancer drug from pharmaceutical giant Novartis. The drug would be used to treat people suffering from leukemia. Tisagen like Lusol is a gene therapy drug used to treat a blood cancer known as B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia in patients aged 3 to 25. The drug uses chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy, which reprograms immune cells to defeat cancer. The treatment first extracts a patient's own T-cells, then genetically modifies them using Tisagen like Lusol to grow new receptors. These receptors target CD19, a protein expressed by malignant B-cells. Copies of the new cells are grown in the lab by the millions and injected back into the patient where they then attack the cancer cells. In one test, the treatment led to complete remission in 83% of 52 patients. But it has potentially deadly short-term side effects, such as high fevers, low blood pressure, and lung problems. It's unclear what the long-term side effects are, if any. Therefore, patients who receive treatment are recommended to be monitored for 15 years. The FDA will likely decide whether or not to approve the Novartis drug in the next few months. If they do, it will be the first gene therapy drug of its kind to hit the U.S. market. Metastatic cancer could be stopped. A research team led by the Georgia Institute of Technology has developed a new treatment that can potentially stop cancer cells from migrating inside the human body. Cells contain cytoskeletons to give them their shape and to carry out functions such as division and movement. In order to move, the cytoskeletons produce protrusions called phyllopodia, which extends from fibers inside the cell known as lamellopodia. The protrusions help cells to shift locations Lamellopodia and phyllopodia are overproduced in malignant cancer cells, enabling them to spread around the body at faster speeds. Cancer kills patients often through the spread of malignant cells, which is known as the metastasis process. By attaching nanorods comprised of a small collection of gold atoms to the integrin of the cells, the cytoskeleton can be stopped from overproducing lamellopodia and phyllopodia, which slows down the migration of malignant cells. A low-energy laser of near-infrared light is then used on the cells. The light is absorbed by the gold nanorods, which then partially melts cancer cells and damages lamellopodia and phyllopodia. This can bring the migration of the cancer cells to a stop. If desired, the laser light can also be adjusted to kill the cancer cells. The experimental treatment shows no observable damage to healthy cells, which is an advantage over commonly used chemotherapy. In the experiments, scientists also did not see the treated cancer recur. UK girl with birthmark undergoes balloon therapy treatment. A nine-year-old UK girl had balloons inserted under her scalp as part of a novel treatment to grow new skin in order to remove a large mole covering her head. Jessica Brett was born with a mole covering about half of her head, which doctors said could become untreatable if it turned cancerous, according to reports. In order to remove the mole, doctors inserted silicone balloons underneath her scalp and slowly expanded them by adding saline solution every two weeks. Doctors then removed the balloons and the mole and covered the wound with the excess skin created by stretching the balloons. Jessica Brett is the first person to undergo such treatment in the UK. Fighting cancer with light? 
mobilizing a patient's immune system to eradicate cancer is often hit or miss, but a group of researchers have discovered that light and optics might help. Killer T cells act as the body's defense mechanism, but they're often evaded by cancer cells and kept out of areas surrounding aggressive tumors. To help them track down their target, scientists combine the T cells with a light-sensitive algae molecule. When injected into mice and activated with light, the T cells were better able to kill the cancer cells. In a separate project, mice with melanoma on their ears were implanted with LED chips and made to wear a small battery pack. The battery signaled the LED to shine light on the tumor, calling killer T cells to the area and boosting their cancer-killing function. The non-toxic treatment is promising, but researchers are still determining how effective it is on tumors deep in the body.